Welcome to UI 101. Let's talk about adding bubbles to your liquid materials in Keyshot. Along with the ability to add and customize bubble geometry with your models, Keyshot has also provided several materials with bubble geometry already applied. This is a great starting point if you don't want to create your materials from scratch. To use a pre-made bubble material, locate the material search bar and type in liquid. This will pop up Keyshot's default liquid materials, including the options with bubble geometry already applied. You can then easily drag and drop these onto your models to replicate the liquid you'd like to mimic. Note that you may need to adjust the transparency of the material or scale of the bubbles depending on the scale of your imported models. You can also change the color and transparency distance to replicate other liquid types if you'd prefer to use a pre-built material as a base to build your own. To create your material from scratch, you'll want to attach a transparent material to your object to replicate the clarity of the liquid you are trying to recreate. Then open the material graph for that material. You can work with any transparent material to create your liquid, but to create a more accurate material graph, change the material type to liquid in the material type dropdown. At this point, you'll want to right click on the workspace and under the geometry flyout, select bubbles and attach the new node to the geometry input of your parent material. Then double click the node to make sure its properties are open along the right side for you to edit. At this point, you'll need to execute geometry to see how the node is affecting the material. Either select the execute geometry button on the bottom of the properties or execute geometry through the icon on the top right of the real time view. From here, you can dial in the baseline size of your bubbles, as well as other settings to randomize the bubbles and determine how densely they're distributed. I recommend updating your geometry after each setting adjustment to get a better idea of how a specific parameter affects your material. Then simply keep adjusting the parameters until you achieve your desired bubble size, density, and distribution. Using bubble geometry can help add that extra layer of realism to your liquid renders, so next time you're working with a liquid material, consider giving it a try. And as always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.